make this anklet, you're going to need a lighter, a pair of scissors, a measuring tape, one long string of 94 inches, one long string of 80 inches, and two shorter strings of 40 inches each. So we're going to start by taking the long, long string, the one string that is 47 inches and it's doubled. So it is 94 inches total. This will be the one that will serve as this section here. So we're going to start by making a little knot at the end, just a simple knot like this. We will make the second knot at four inches about. There we go. Now we're going to take the other long string, the one that is 40 inches and is double, so 80 inches total and we will tie it just below the knot. Now we have two strings left. They are 40 inches each. They are single and one of each color. So because we are doing three rows of each color, that means we need a total of six strings. So we have four over here already so we need one of each color so we can't use this as a double so it's going to be a single so we're going to tie it underneath and just leave a little bit hanging like this we're going to cut and burn this section we're not going to use this so now we have three coral and we're going to add the other one and we'll do the same thing so we're gonna leave this part hanging so now we have three corals and three greens and that's what we're gonna be working with here doesn't matter. It, we're gonna we're gonna set it. When we start making the knots, it will come into places. So don't worry if this one's on the side. We're gonna start with the coral because they're on that side already. Two of them. If you don't have a macrame board, you can hook this part to a chair, door handle, or anything like that. So we're going to start with the far left one and bring it all the way across to the right. So I call these nuts the figure four nuts. Because when you put it on top, it makes a four. So that's the far left. It's going to make a four on top of the second one. Pull it through and tighten it at the end and we're going to repeat every strings will make two knots on the other strings figure four you can see it like this the four so it goes on top of the this one you can hold it and then it goes underneath and then on top again Figure four. So we keep using the same string. Okay, so we have our first row. So this string that started on the left is now all the way to the right. So now we're gonna take the string that's all the way to the left and repeat the same thing. So 
So in this type of anklet, we are just repeating the same thing until you have the desired length. And also you want to make sure that when you pull it up you have a bubble here because if you don't have this and this one ends up doing the knot then you're going to mess up the work so as long as you have that bubble over here that's what you want so you keep it that bubble i call it a bubble like this So we have our first three rows of coral. Now we're gonna start on our three rows of the green. All right. So this is our working side. There we go. We have three rows of coral and three rows of green. So now we just have to repeat the same thing until we have the desired length. All right, so I'm finishing the last row. And there we go. And the total length is seven inches. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same thing as on the other side so we can close it. I'm gonna take the same color. I'm gonna measure. So I can have the same length over here. I'm gonna make the knot. There we go. Now we need to do some cutting and burning. So we're gonna cut everything that's unnecessary. These two, cut and burn. Cut over here and burn the end. And over here we'll cut these. And over here. When you burn the excess strings, Make sure you don't burn your, your strings that you're keeping. Also be careful not to burn yourself. I use the side of the lighter to smooth out that burnt piece. Now you can use one of these strings that are left over from cutting and we're going to make a square knot and that will serve as a sliding knot. Fold it over. All right, so to do a square knot, just make your regular knot to start. Left side behind goes on top of the right side and right side goes on top of everything into the hole. And then you pull. So we start with the left, now we're gonna do the right side. Right side behind, on top of the left. Left goes on top of everything into the hole.
and that's five square knots. And there we go, another beautiful anklet with a sliding knot. So you can put your foot through and then adjust it. And we will add that to the collection of the striped anklets. <laughs>